Okay, this is going to be called KJV Only Exposed. We're going to show one of their flagship verses and show what liars they are and show how inept they are. And if after this video you remain KJVO, you are wacko. Now here is their favorite verse. The words of the Lord are pure words, as a silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. It doesn't say which words in what language. It just says the words of the Lord are pure words. That doesn't say anything about the KJV at all. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Okay, the KJV only people think this word them refers to this word words. Oh, but the Hebrew doesn't say that at all. At all. Let's look at your flagship verse and see what the Hebrew says. First of all, we're going to look at verse 6 and say, what is words in the Hebrew? It's imra, is the vocabulary form, and the actual Hebrew is right here, imrot. Okay? Imrot. You pronounce it with an I. Alright, not an A. Okay? And that's right here, speech. And it's in the feminine plural, honey. Ot. The ot ending is plural. Feminine. Okay? Feminine. Bear that in mind. Because a pronoun must modify in gender. It must match in gender. And that's how you know what it modifies. So let's look at verse 7. Okay? Okay, here's... Here's Ata, that means you. Yehua, that's God. And then here's our first verb. Okay? It means keep watch. Specifically to keep watch. It's not just keep, it's to keep watch. Alright? And the verb is Tishmerem. Alright? The M ending here is a plural. Okay? And well, words is a plural, right? Yes, but this is a masculine plural. Masculine plural. So it does not modify words in verse 6 because verse 6 is feminine plural. Got that? Now we have the next verb, which is titsrenu. Okay? Titsrenu. That is first person plural okay and it means to what to keep guard actually alright and the reason you know this is that this is fulasa which is used in Luke 2 it means to watch the flocks it's a shepherding verb okay it really, it's a guarding verb a military verb but it means to keep watch alright and that is of course second person singular and this is us. Us. Okay? Now that happens very much, very often with the LXX. They'll take a third person plural and they'll interpretively translate it to a second person plural. And they're correct to do that, and you're going to see why in a minute. But I just want to focus on the difference here. This is a masculine plural. Okay? Tishmaren. It's masculine plural. It cannot modify words because words is a feminine plural. This is titsrenu. This means you guard us. Nu is the ending for us, plural, like anachnu. That means we in Hebrew. Okay, the nu ending is first person plural. It's a standard ending for first person plural. It can't mean third person. It can't mean them. So, all these translations that say them are copying the King James because they're afraid. And IV had the courage to say us. And that's exactly what this ending right here is translating properly. Okay, and it's actually also looking at the LXX. Which, of course, the lying KJV only people say doesn't exist. 
Yeah, the Jews are being maligned, therefore. Christ is being maligned, therefore, because he quotes from the LXX, as do all the apostles. And the Jews wrote it 2nd century BC, and that is well attested by the age of the language. But the KJV can't, KJV only people cannot read the Hebrew and the Greek. They just want to kill the Bible. They want it so you have no lexicons and no LXX, no comparison, and they want to, you know, cover up the Hebrew because they want to kill the Brown Driver Briggs lexicon. That's what Gail stupid lying Ripplinger wants to do. Go look at her website. Okay, because if they can kill the lex lexicons, then you can't tell how badly the King James Version is mistranslated. This is a plural. You, us, and the King, the, the King James Version's got it wrong. The NAV got it right because new means us. It's very standard ending. So, this should say... You will keep uh, keep us safe. Really, isn't the best translation. Keep watch over us would be better, and protect us is okay. All right. See, because when you have two Hebrew verbs like this together, all right, and this is a them, and this is an us. It's like having two American verbs together, and you just use the last meaning, the last pronoun because it's referencing the same group. Now what group is it referencing? It's not referencing words. No matter what you want to say about this, this is a masculine plural ending and this is a first person plural ending. So it's not referencing words which is a feminine plural ending. Well here's the group it's referencing. Okay. Let me show you the lexicon. Okay. The afflicted, anaim, anaim. Okay, it's a masculine plural adjective, but it uses a substantive. The same structure happens in Greek. When you're using an adjective in the plural, it becomes a substantive. It means the oppressed. Let me give you a tr show you the translation. You can see your KGV, which isn't all that bad here. But see, this is a masculine plural. All right, so it's referring back to verse 5. Masculine plural here, okay, and then here's the second masculine plural it's referencing. Okay, the needy, ebyon, ebyonim. All right, so it's referring to the oppressed, anayim, and ebyonim, which are the needy. Both are masculine plurals. So the masculine plural that's coupled, and, it's, and that's talking about Israel in context, which you can see, even in the KJV. See, here's the context. They who have said with our tongue, okay, these are the people who are trying to hurt Israel, okay? For the oppression of the poor, I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in safety, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but... The oppressed ones is really what it's saying in the Hebrew. This is oppressed ones for the oppressed and for the needy. All right?